was who became a director at a very young age. He's very compassionate. Always you find him helping others. A very, you know, he's got a very helping hand. And yes, he is none other than Kavi Ganesh from Pondicherry. Then, then actually, then we find how we can unleash their potential. 
when I was running the home, one day I got a call from a doctor from the one of the biggest hospital in Pondicherry. I went to the hospital, then I found around 20, 22 years old, a person with intellectually disabled sitting on the bed. The doctor told me someone admitted him in the hospital for fever. He recovered and the doctor looking for someone to send him home because he is around moderate level of intellectual disability. He couldn't speak. He don't know where is he. Then the people looked who admitted him in the hospital and nobody was there. And then I asked them, can you please give me the admission register so probably we can get address or name something. I got some detail and then I traced out the, those address but all were fake. All the details were fake. They just abandoned him in the hospital and still remembering how he was crying and looking for the mother or someone. Still we couldn't find their mother or their relatives or him. And finally I brought him to our home. Still he is living in my home. This is not an isolated case. You can find a child or other person with intellectual disability abandoned in the road or the railway station or the bus station. Still, people believe that a child born with disability is because of sin, forefathers' mistake, or past life karma. It shows that people are not ready to accept them. Even the government also not ready to address this issue. If we provide a proper opportunity, definitely many things are possible. It is very important to remember. If you see a person with a disability, first see the person and see the disability. First see the person's strength and see the, what is the special support he or she needs. First see the self-esteem and it always leads to an inclusive life and community participation. I was spent for the last more than 10 years in my home. Many experiences changed my life. And one experience which brought me here. The one incident happened a year before. <coughs> As I said earlier, some of my brothers are quite skilled in automobile mechanic, but no one ready to give a job. That time we were totally disappointed. What shall we do? And especially I was really disappointed because I thought I am a little bit worried. I got I'm graduated, I got a job, I'm integrated, integrated with my society. But still my brothers are sitting in the home and getting all the basic needs. Then I was sitting with the, all my brothers and we talked, what shall we do? And one of my brothers said, why we need to look the job from the outside? Why not we start from our home? Wow, that's a great idea. Okay, why we need a job from outside? We start ourselves, but what kind of job? Okay, shall we start some occasional training? Mm, okay, shall we make some candles? Okay, then one of the boys said, why not we start a vegetable organic garden? Ah, good idea. Then we thought we have a piece of land close to my home. And then we started with a just railways. We are not disabled, some of my intellectual disabled, some of the western volunteers. We all joined together. We went to the land, we cleared it out, and we built a frames, we bought a plants, we bought a seed and started working the garden. One day, very interesting incident happened. A person with intellectually disabled, he came to me and showed the seed and he asked me, what is this? I said, this is a seed. If you put it to the soil, it will grow. He looked at me and smiled. He never believed me. And he said, no, it looks like a stone. How it grows? Uh -huh. Okay, let me try. We just put it to the soil, we together we put it to the soil and I said, remember, you have to put water on it every day. He did. <laughs> and after a few days, we found the two leaves coming out from the leaves. He was so happy. His eyes became so bright. His face became so bright. The whole day, he was so happy. You bring everyone from the boat. The volunteer, the guests, the, all the people and uh, bring them to the home, uh, to the garden and show them two leaves. And the whole day he was sitting in the garden. If you come now, 
you can find him, he will be in the garden. <laughs> His life totally changed. The incident changed. He became so involved, engaged in the work. And the incident, the seed, not only changed his life, it changed to me. The seed became my project. Yes, my project is Srishti Village. Srishti means creation. I want to create an inclusive community village where the intellectually disabled are not disabled, live and work together, and they have a choice to lead a holistic and dignified life. I wish to build a village community for the intellectually disabled to learn, to work, and generate income, and a community which is treat everyone equal. I am planning many activities in my village project. Based on the individual interest, skills, need, ability, every youth is possible to involve in the community, in the village community. I plan many out of employment activities. The activities starting from organic vegetable garden, fruits gardening, cultivation, agriculture, carpentry, factory, handicraft, etc. I am planning to divide all the activities, simple, 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 even a small, small task. Why? Because it's possible for the everyone can want, contribute, can participate in every activity. Even the smallest task has a dignity and value and it contributes to the well-being of others. And I'm planning my project in an eco-friendly, environmentally friendly way. All the construction made out of mud and bamboo, locally available materials. And we are concerned about the environment. We don't want to harm to the environment. So we wish to, wish to use the renewable energy like solar energy, biogas, wind. wind. And when I see my village, the people have a social life. They are living together. They have a dignified life. They are all having a social life. They have an interdependent. They have a friendship among them. They don't have any difference themselves. Everyone supporting each other. They don't create any difference themselves. Everyone contributing to the well-being of their own community. That's my project. But I was sharing my project with many people. They impressed. And I approached Braille Without Borders, Swiss Foundation. And then already they sanctioned the seed money to initiate my project. And I approached a kindergarten organization in Germany. The organization supporting my home for more than 10 years and they have taken my Srishti Village project as their primary project and they are ready to support now. And also I am planning to approach the government for the land. Even if they are giving a desert, we are very sure we will make it as a green land. And I don't forget, I am very grateful to Kantari. It changed my life. I learned many skills for the past seven months. I am very sure I am going to use all the skills in my project. Not only in my project, it changed my whole life. I am sure the skills what I learned, what I learned from the founder, definitely will be help, helpful for me to, to do more in my life. Interestingly, some of my friends asked me, how the intellectually disabled people can work? I want to show you a video, how the intellectually disabled can work.